Yo guys, Code Life here. So in today's video of Fortnite Pro Player Updates, we're going to be checking out some keyboard changes from both Tfue and Benji Fishy. As well as that, we'll also be checking out Mongrel's new Fortnite Sense and Symphony's recently updated Fortnite settings. There's not that much to get through today, guys, but before we do start, I just want to quickly say that if you are enjoying these update videos, then be sure to leave a like on them, guys, as each and every like really does help the video out and is greatly appreciated. Also, if you do happen to be new to my channel, please consider subscribing as well so that you don't miss any of these updates in the future. Let's now move on and check out the Fortnite Pro Player updates for today, starting off with Symphony's new updated Fortnite settings. So just recently guys, Symphony has gone ahead and changed a few things within his Fortnite settings. He's changed his video settings, his game settings, specifically his Fortnite sense, and he's also changed his colorblind setting. Since that is a fair amount of changes, what I'll do is I'll list all of his settings just in full for you guys so you can see all of his Fortnite settings that are all up to date as of today. Starting off with his video settings, Symphony now has all of these turned off slash on low. His Fortnite resolution and his frame rate limit cap still remain the same. That's 1920 by 1080 for his Fortnite res and 240 FPS for his FPS limit cap. For his brightness, Symphony still plays on 0.56, which is just a little bit above the default 0.50. For his audio settings, he's got his music set to zero, his sound effects on 0.20, his voice charts set at 0.38, and his cinematics volume is on zero. For Symphony's colorblind settings, he now has this setting turned off completely. He did previously used to switch between Tritonope 10 and Protonope 10. However, now he literally has this setting turned off. Moving on to Symphony's new game settings. For these, Symphony actually lowered his sense. He lowered his X and Y sense as well as his mouse scope sense. He was previously playing on X and Y on 0.100 and scope sense on 0.650. However, now Symphony now plays on X X and Y on 0.096, targeting on 0.550, and his scope sense is now on 0.403. That's also on 400 mouse DPI as well. And yeah, that's all of Symphony's new Fortnite settings. Let's now move on and check out Benji Fishy's new keyboard. So for Benji Fishy's new keyboard, he now plays on the Razor Huntsman Tournament Edition in the size 10 key less. This new keyboard replaces his old one, which was the Razor Black Widow Chroma. Now, I'm not too sure on the exact reason for him switching his keyboard. I literally think that the reason he did it is just to try something new. We've seen Mongrel use this exact same keyboard that Benji Fishy is now using and Mongrel really seemed to like it. So it is possible that Mongrel could have recommended it to him or not. Who really knows? But so far Benji Fishy does seem to be really enjoying this keyboard. He definitely does look a lot faster on his keybind presses from what I've watched on stream. This possibly could be due to those new Razer switches that are on this Razer Huntsman keyboard. Those are the Razer Linear Optical switches. For those that don't know, these new switches are a lot faster than the Razer green switches which Benji previously had attached to his old keyboard. To quickly prove how faster these new switches are compared to his old ones, I'll quickly throw a comparison on screen right now for you guys. As you can see from the stats here guys, the Razer green switches have an actuation point of 1.9 millimeters and an actuation force of 50 grams, whereas the linear optical switches have an actuation point of as low as 1.0 millimeters and an actuation force of only 40 grams which do make these switches a lot lot faster which again guys it means he can press his keybinds a lot quicker but yeah that's benji's new keyboard Next up, we've got Mongrel's new Fortnite sense that he's only gone and changed again. For Mongrel's new Fortnite sense, he's now slightly lowered all of his sensitivities across the board. His DPI remains the same. That's just on 400. That hasn't changed one bit. It's literally just his X and Y sense, his targeting and his scope sense. Mongrel was previously playing on X and Y on 0.112, targeting on 0.226 and scope also on 0.226. However, just recently, as I mentioned, guys, he did lower these sensors and he now plays on X and Y both on 0.111 and his targeting sense and scope sense are now both on 0.231. Not much of a crazy sense change there guys from Mongrel but do remember that those little micro adjustments in changing your sense really can make the difference. I think in Mongrel's case here it is possible that his shots were possibly off by the tiniest bit and to sort of fix that and make his shots like dead on he did lower his sense just the tiniest bit. I could be wrong guys but that is just an assumption but literally those little micro adjustments in your sense really can add up and make your aim feel a lot more accurate. But yeah, that's Mongrel's new Fortnite sense. Let's now move on to our final update of today, which is Tfue's new keyboard. So for Tfue's new keyboard, he's now using the Razer Huntsman Tournament Edition keyboard. This new keyboard replaces his old keyboard, which was the Ducky Mecha Mini 
with the Ducky XT Fu keycap set attached to it. Now for this change in particular, I'm not too sure why Tfue did change his keyboard and this change actually did surprise me. I honestly didn't think we'd see Tfue go back to a sort of normal keyboard. What I mean by that is Tfue usually plays on a custom mechanical keyboard that he's either built himself or had someone build for him. But now Tfue is playing on a sort of commercial keyboard where anyone can buy it, which is the Razer Huntsman Tournament Edition. I think the reason for why Tfue actually tried out this keyboard is possibly the same reason for why Benji Fishy did and that is because of the switches. On Tfue's old keyboard, he had the silver switches attached to that keyboard, and those are really fast switches, don't get me wrong, but on this new keyboard that Tfue's now using, this keyboard features the Razer Linear optical switches, which are faster than the silver switches. As you can see from the comparison on screen right now, the stats do show that the Razer switches are a lot quicker, which means that Tfue can press his keybinds a lot quicker as the switches are a lot quicker. Now, it could be for a completely different reason, guys, but this one, to me, makes sense and I'm pretty sure that's why he did end up trying this new keyboard. But yeah, who knows, Tfue might end up switching his keyboard tomorrow or the next day. I don't really know what's going to happen, but you guys know that I will keep you updated on whatever keyboard he does change to. But yeah, that's all I've got for today, guys. That's all the updates. If you did enjoy this video or found it helpful, then be sure to drop a like on it, guys. And if you would like to take that extra step in supporting me, you can use Code Life in the Fortnite item shop when you do purchase any skins. By doing that, guys, you really are helping me out so much and I really appreciate you. But if you do cop any skins with my code guys send me a picture on twitter so that i can thank you personally but yeah guys that's all from me hope to see you all in the next one thanks for watching peace